Hello guys, welcome back to LineUp. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to make a tarpaulin layout in Canva. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So you might be wondering how do you exactly make a tarpaulin layout here in Canva, especially if you want to create one for a very specific event. Now the thing with uh, tarpaulins here is they have different uh, layouts or different sizes that you could choose from. Now, to, just to give you some idea here, sometimes just a landscape will not work because usually you could go and click on create design top left here and you could just choose the landscape, uh, whatever landscape option that you see here. So as you can see, there are going to be different uh, uh, sizes here. We have that banner landscape here. But the thing with this one is sometimes if you don't see or enter the correct size for this one, this will actually uh, break uh, your design because again, it will be blurry if you use the incorrect size for this one. So yeah, just give you the up, these are the common tarpaulin sizes out there. So in this case, this is from the website here. So according to the website here, if you're referring to, uh, you, uh, for a small tarp size, you have like five by seven feet. Now it should be five by seven feet, because again, uh, there's a thing that we call resolution. Now if you don't choose the correct size here, it will make your tarpaulin really, really blurry. So yeah. Now, if you want to get a, a large heavy duty tarp here, which is around like 170 by 170 uh, feet here, which in this case, like in a square format. So if you're going to uh, think about it, you also have the standard size here, which is six by three. Standard size two is four by two and standard size three is for eight by four. So the largest one that you could choose from here is going to be eight by four feet, which is the standard size three. Now, let's go and start creating one. Now, the great thing about Canva here is whenever you're creating design, whatever your target here, whatever you're creating, the great thing about Canva is you can choose from already existing templates or in this case, designs that you can choose. So yeah, let's go ahead and search for a template that we could use in Canva here. Let's go and click on this great design at top left here. Let's go ahead and just uh, type in what in the what would you like to create section and let's just type in tarp. Now, there will be a different options for you here. Like, so you have tarpaulin landscape, tarpaulin portrait, greeting card here, and a lot more. Now, by the way, if you want to make this uh, a lot uh, more um, bigger, you can create your own. So you could go and click on customize size here. Then you could go and choose like either pixel, inches, centimeter, or uh, millimeter here. So maybe I choose is an inch, uh, inches here, and we want to go and convert that into feet. So like what I said before, maybe we want to get like the five by seven feet here. So let's go and convert that. So in this case, five foot is going to be 60 inches. Let's go ahead and choose like uh, 60 uh, for our height. And going to be uh, this one's five, uh, seven feet. Let's go ahead and convert this seven feet, 84. Let's go ahead and choose to be it. So since we want to get like a landscape uh, tarpaulin here, but obviously you, you could go ahead and switch this around if you want to, which in this case, uh, you will be able to get uh, more or you will be able to uh, have a portrait kind. Now, by the way, there are some limitations here. Let's go ahead and reduce that. So this case must be less than 45 by uh, uh, by 2.05 uh, inches here. So in this case, the maximum allow area is going to be this one. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose like 45. So maybe that's half of it, 45 here. So there are going to be some limitations. You can th choose 30. Let's go ahead and click on create new design. Now, in this case, it should open up a new design here, which in this case, we could just start uh, designing our template. Now, from here, there are def different templates that you could choose here. So you could just type in tarp. So there might be some uh, template designs here that you may want to use. We have this one, as you can see here now. Uh, there are paid uh, designs here that you could choose from. So obviously you could go and choose uh, one as long, as long as if you have like a paid plan or a premium plan here on Canva, you could go and choose that. If you have like a crown, you could use that design. But in this case, you could go and click one of them. As you can see, we could go and click on it. It will automatically apply that design into our uh, canvas here. Now you could go and just click on whatever you want. As you can see right now, it's going to be applied. And yeah, so maybe if, for example, if you just want to use this one, uh, this is going, you could go and click on it and you can just double click on the text here to update it. Like for example, if you want to change the name of the brand here, like for example, instead of Life Tech, maybe we want to say that this is going to be uh, Life uh, uh, Life Wish. Now, obviously, this is just an example. You have electronics here, you can change that. And the great thing about Canva here is if you have like existing images in here, 
uh, you'll have the option to replace them via dragging them from your upload. So at the left side, you can go and click on uploads here. You go and click on upload files and you could go and choose your file that you want to use. Like for example, I could go and choose this one, click on open and this will actually automatically update. But if you already have that one, you can go and just press and hold and drag it into your image here. It will be automatically your place as you can see right now. So yeah, this is a great thing that you could use or do here in Canva and something really handy just in case you don't want to mess up this side. But just in case, like if you want to change the background, you can go and click on the background itself. So not the elements you see here, you can click on the color and change it to a different one, like make it gray. Or if you want to make it like this color, which is something if you really um, match it. I could also add like animation, uh, put, um, some designs into it. So for example, let's go ahead and uh, basically edit this so let's click on it let's go ahead and click on either like you can flip this as well it gives position as well uh you have your crop or uh, you have a corner or uh, rounding just in case you want to do that you also have the edit at the left side here which allows you to add like filters on it like fresco uh you can add like shadows just in case like let's go and add a drop shadow here you can go and add a drop shadow here as well uh drop you can also customize the drop shadow here if you want. As you can see, the angle, distance, and the blur amount. Let's go increase the blur amount if you want. Let's go use this one. Yeah, you can go and do the same thing if you want. Seven if you want. But yeah. So in this case, uh, once you've done that and added whatever you want, like by the way, you could also add different elements here. You could go to elements here. So you can see you can search for whatever you want. Like for example, let's just say this is going to be tech. Let's go and pray, uh, uh, search for that. Let's go and click on graphics, click on see all. And as you can see, there are different elements that you can add here. Now, let's go ahead and drag, uh, add it in here. But let's go ahead and basically make it a lot bigger. Let's go and add it in here. And let's go and right click on it. And we could basically go to layer and send this to back. Now, from here, you could also change the uh, transparency. You could go and click on this one, change the transparency here. And as you can see, it's now transparent. I could just add whatever elements you want. Like maybe I want to add another one here to make it more interesting in some sense. Let's go and add this one, make it a lot bigger. Or you could basically uh copy this one. Like just the idea. Let's go and copy it, paste it again, and position it in this way. I could go ahead and choose the transparency again. Now you could also change the color by the way for uh, certain graphics. So maybe uh, maybe you want to use like a gray, dark gray for this one. Again, dark gray. Let's go and choose the uh, transparency here. And yeah, so we are good. Now, if you want to use or start using this for printing, you can go and click on share at the top right here. And from here, you want to go ahead and basically click on the download button that you see here. And basically, you can go and download this as a PNG. So you also have a P uh, PDF standard, PDF print. The, the best one is going to be PNG here. So when chosen that, you could go and just uh, limit the file size here or the size. So if you want to multiply the size here, like for example, like we did before, uh, yeah, uh, we uh, reduce it like by a half. So you could go ahead and just make times two uh, or use the times two of that specific size. So, but, uh, by the way, this option is available for premium users only. So if you want to download a bigger size, uh, you may want to upgrade your plan. And also, you could also print with Canva here if you're not aware. Uh, you could go ahead and just print this on portraits, uh, trifold here. So if you're not mistaken, let's see if they have like tarpaulins in here. So if uh, currently they, have, they don't have tar tarpaulin, so in this case, the best choice here is going to be printing, or sorry, downloading it via this way. But yeah, so in this case, that's how you make tarpaulin uh, layouts here in Canva. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to the app. Thank you for watching.